Hi everyone, my name is Tyler McMinn, and we're going to talk about living independent. Here are the five uh, tips uh, that will help you live independent. Number one, get to know yourself. Uh, this is one of the most important uh, things of living independently, because how are you going to live on your own if you do not uh, know yourself first? <laughs> so yeah, just taking uh, just taking time. Hey, yeah, you know, this is uh, this can be fun. You know, what's your favorite uh, movies, uh, favorite TV shows, or video games, or or toys, or you know, all that kind of stuff too. That's right, or toys. Nah, that's right. Uh, nah, adults can have uh, toys too, like jet skis, for example. Number two, the nah, number two uh, is uh, is, uh, is get to know the. And the transportation system of uh, the ability of living the family, whether it be getting a driver's license or getting to know the taxi system or the ferry boat system. You see, I live uh, I live in uh, Washington, so uh, here in this day, you gotta you gotta learn how to um, use the system uh, of the ferry and know the system well, or just any other kind of system that you can think of involving transportation, even uh, even the bus, which um, you know which. I believe in my personal opinion. It's, uh, it works really well when you want to take those little you know, take those little uh, tours around the city. You can just take the bus. And no need to uh, no need to uh, do a parking. You can just uh, take the bus and just go anywhere you like to go. <laughs> so that's, that's number two. You know, get to know the transportation system. As I would uh, usually say, is is getting a driver's license is your ticket to freedom. Either that or a bus pass or a train pass, you know, any other kind of passes for uh, for transportation or that kind of stuff too. It was a fun. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy good drive every so often. <laughs> so that's number, uh, that's, that's uh, number two. Number three, yeah, uh, check in with your uh, folks uh, often, your parents or your grandparents or anyone that uh, that takes good care. Of you. It's always good to uh, to check in. I'm sure there are people out there uh, you know, that are uh, kind of wondering about that's you know that's saying that they would feel they would feel uh uh what's the term uh they would feel too um uh you know the like confined i guess you can say too like uh like do i have to check in or anything like that too well i'm gonna uh, well i'm gonna show you a little bit of a fun way of of doing that for checking in think of it uh think of it this way as um uh, you know one of my favorite uh, things is um, is uh, spy content or mercenary and all that kind of stuff too. In fact, well, uh, in fact, a lot of the, a lot of the games and and uh, books I that guy kind of games I play at books I read uh, involves um, it involves uh, secret agents or you know, or spies and mercenaries and all that kind of stuff too. So think of it this way as um, as uh, contacting uh, mission commands and instead uh, and you know just uh, contacting your uh, you're Gerald and saying uh, saying something that lines up. Yeah, this is um, uh, yeah, this is Agent Tyler uh, calling to Gerald Mission Command. I'm about to do some infiltrating of this of this uh, enemy base. It's gonna it's gonna take me it's gonna take me some time. <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun with it. Of course, that's just an exaggeration on kind of too. But you know, it's sweet. But uh, saying I'm going to. To the movies, or going to uh, the restaurant, or or going, um, you know, or just going out, uh, out, uh, you know, to the town and tour around, and to a museum or cities or, or any other place you can really think of, and not uh, all that uh, good stuff. So think of it kind of, uh, you know, think of it kind of uh, as a way of of doing a uh, of doing a mission. Uh, that's not really so secret because you know you gotta have gotta have your folks um, know. Uh, what you uh, what you're doing all that kind of thing too, but um, but yeah, you know, just uh, check in, and talk with them, and you know, just uh, let them know what's uh, you know going on. You know, especially when you're at uh, at the age uh, of uh, of being a mature adult, and it's uh, that's good to check in uh, every once in every once in a while. <laughs> so uh, so uh, yeah, practice on doing that, and most importantly, just just make it fun, and uh, you know, make it fun when you when you check in like that. So that's. Uh, <clears throat> as that's uh, number three. Number four, relax. It's uh, you know uh, living independently can be uh, can be a lot of fun, and and I know that uh, that it can be such a new and sometimes a scary thing. Uh, you know living independently, you know, like kind of thing too, because you know it's it's new. It's uh, it's probably out of your comfort zone and all that kind of thing too. And um, you know everyone's uh, 
everyone knows when they're when they're ready to uh, to live independently on happening too there's absolutely no rush or no um uh yeah there's there's no rush uh, to not happen too but there will be come to a point where uh, where you have to live um independently too so uh, so practice on you know, so good to just say uh, you know kind of not practice on on doing it with your with your family on coffee too before you get to that um get to that point yeah just relax it's um uh, it's gonna be okay it's uh and you know you gotta you gotta learn how to find uh, find the fun in uh, living in the family just because you're um just because you're a grown adult doesn't mean that uh, you guys still can't have fun there's lots uh there's lots of fun uh, things to do as uh as adults uh lots of fun things to do as a uh, as as adults like for example you can still uh you can still have some ice cream and all that thing too just uh go to the, the nearest ice cream store and uh, and enjoy a scoop <laughs> or uh or even go to the arcade and lots of other uh, no fun things they can do an adult too so feel free to um to share uh, what are your favorite uh, fun things uh, to do as an adult but please be uh, well but please keep it clean too you know just just for this child okay <laughs> Can you do that for me? Thank you so much. Okay, so um, so yeah, number four, just um, uh, just relax, and you know it's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be uh, um, you're gonna have fun now living in your family. And uh, and number five is uh, is simply finding the fun in in living independently, which is true. You know, it's um, you know, you gotta relax, and then you have uh, then you have fun. You gotta find the fun, and then and then living independently becomes uh, becomes a fun little game for you. And uh, and in games, you never know when um, you never know what's uh, what's going to happen next. You know what's uh, you know there's uh, many many unexpected um, there are many unexpected um, occurrences that uh, that kind of happened, and um, you know all these different possibilities. There are times um, in a game where you will uh, win, and uh, there are times where you will lose. And whenever you lose, you just uh, you just keep on going until you uh, find those wins and be uh, being able to sell. So, um, uh, so you know, in the past, uh, it's not where you have to do the dishes, or cooking, or uh, baking, or you know, just um, uh, just you know, do the laundry and all these different uh, things going on too. And after you do these uh, these chores, you can choose to celebrate by uh, you know, by doing whatever you know, whatever is fun to you, whether it be doing an art project or like video games, uh, watch movie or not, kind of stuff too. You know, find, um, yeah, find your fun you know, for these kind of things and ways to celebrate. It's all up to you. <laughs> and, and, uh, and yeah, just find the fun that in these, um, that in these moments, uh, you know, to, uh, to make it, um, uh, to make it feel like, uh, like a game. And in games, uh, there are times where you, lose, where you will lose and there are times where, uh, you will win and you will win spectacularly. And uh, so that's something to look forward to, you know, finding those um, those wits in, in living in the pants. Uh, so um, that's what I would uh, say for those uh, for those five uh, tips of uh, of living uh, in the pen. These are some of the things that I kind of keep in mind, um, you know, for myself, and hopefully they'll apply um, to you as effective as uh, as well. So um, uh, so that's what I would say. It can be uh, it can be fun. It's, uh, so just just go out there. And, uh, this is Tyler McNamara of Autism Works. Uh, let's uh, let's work together to make it work. Thank you all very much.